Hey guys, today we're just going to be looking at a very short tutorial on how we can export an HTML version of our game and then we can publish it on the web for others to play. So what we'll do is we're going to just open up our previous game project that we were working on in a different tutorial series. And what we'll do is we'll compile this uh, using WebAssembly to give us a WebAssembly output and then we'll be able to play this in our browser. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, please do so now and hit that notification bell to get updates of all tuto tutorials in future. So to get this compiled as HTML, we're going to head over to scene and we're going to uh, actually go over to project and we're going to go over to export over here and we need to add the HTML type. So you'll see down here, it's going to say that we need a export template. So you can click on manage export templates and then hit download. So now it's going to look for mirrors and we can then retrieve it. And it is about a 400 MB. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it has completed. So now we've uh, downloaded our template and now we can actually export our project. So how we will export this project is uh, typically it will create a WASM file, which is a WebAssembly uh, file, which is built for the web. So WebAssembly, just to give a little bit of background into that, uh, WebAssembly is an optimized version of uh, compiled code which runs pretty well in browsers and actually is what most of javascript is built on top of so it's very low level and very fast to run so webassembly is the way to go especially if you are exporting your games so what we'll do is we'll uh, go over to project now and we'll go into export and now you'll see that we have html5 runnable and we can now export it because we don't have this error anymore. So the options we want here is a script, export mode, compiled, and options needs to be a desktop. And then finally, what we need to do, just to show you the other ones, uh, we export all resources, patches we don't worry about, features, we just leave the default. And then we want to go and export it. So I've chosen this path HTML game index HTML. But if you click on this icon, you can go ahead and create a folder and then save it as index.html. So go ahead and save that and then just click on export all. And then you'll be given this option debug or release. We're going to go for release. So I click on release and it exports your project. So let's have a look at what it creates. So if we look at this folder, this is what it created, an index.html, JS, and a WASM file. So the WASM file is mostly what your game is, and it's got all the binaries and everything inside of it, which makes up your game. Uh, HTML is just going to bring in your WASM along with the JS file, which will load up the WASM into the HTML for you. So let's run this in Chrome. So open up with Chrome. So you'll see we're going to get this loading and then it's going to fail. So the reason for this is we need a web server to run this. And why that is, is because this index.html is referring to index wasm in the root folder, but it has got this path, which is creating an issue where it can't load it. So we need to spin up a very quick web server to make this work. So the easiest way to do this is to just look for uh, PHP. So PHP is a programming language for the web, but it also has a built-in web server that we can run. So to get that, uh, if you're using Windows, we just uh, search for PHP Windows. And you can look at this binaries over here. And you can go and download uh, one of these, let's just see which one it is. We want to get 7.4. Uh, let's go for anything here. Thread safe should be fine. And uh, download that and install it. Uh, this tutorial isn't about installing it, but you can install it quite easily uh, if you just follow these instructions. And then what you can do next is you need to open either a PowerShell, 
which I've got PowerShell, or you could use a command prompt, which is uh, Control R and then CMD to run the command line. Then what you need to do is you need to CD into the directory that your game is in. So I've already done that, but to show you how to do that, if we go back to C, uh, just go like so to go back to the root. And then you're going to just use CD users. And depending on where yours sits, you will have a different path. So I'm going to use that and then HTML get. So what we need to do now is uh, just type PHP minus S and then we are going to run it on the local host on port 8000. Run that and you'll see that it now spins up a web server for us which we can use. And I can just simply use localhost 8000 over here and your game loads up in the web browser. So for the most part it works, but as you can see it, the screen isn't resized properly and that's just something you'll have to modify in your game when you do export it. But everything else works just fine. So this is not just useful for uh, exporting games. Uh, another very useful application this has is that you could use Godot to create web applications which run WASM files which make them exceptionally uh, optimal to run in web browsers. So maybe you think about other ways you can use Godot to build uh, applications and maybe even software without uh, having to go around to learning languages like Rust or even further getting into WebAssembly. Why not just use Godot and build web applications that way? So guys, I hope that has been insightful and useful. If you liked this video, please like below and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.